Hello and welcome everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video about um, GPower, which is a software that calculates the sample size for um, researcher. Um, it's been made at University of Düsseldorf and it's been used by many researchers and statisticians around the world. So I get a lot of questions about how to calculate the sample size. So I thought I'd just give a brief introduction on how to use that. You can download it for free uh, for Windows and Mac from the website. Um, when you're going to open the software, this is the interface that you're going to see. And there are three things that um, you would need in order to find the right sample size. So one is the test family, and these are the tests listed that and you have to select one of those tests. And when you're going to select one, you will have other options from the statistical test that you want to choose. You can select one of them. And then finally, you will have to go and use the a priority test. That's what I would recommend. That means that you will determine the sample size before you actually conduct your research. Um, you can also select the uh, post hoc, but uh, determining the sample size after research has no use. So that's not a really good way of doing that. I'm going to select a priori. And uh, once you have all these um, three selected, and you have chosen the right test that you are going to conduct in your research. You have um, this input parameter box where you can um, select the error probability and the power that um, you're aiming for in your research. And finally, you're going to add the um, tested predictors uh, for your research and also the total predictors of your, of your research. So you have to have a fixed model um, that actually Breeze uh, specifies the amount of uh, predictor variables um, that are going to predict your dependent variable. And then you're going to calculate it. And it's going to give you a nice colorful graph up on top um, with the alpha and beta levels and the critical value of FF. And here you can see the sample size um, on the right hand on the outward parameters with degrees of freedom. And it also tells you the sample size that you would need in order to achieve this alpha and beta levels um, that um, you're aiming for in your research. Now, there's one more important thing that um, that varies based on your research. Um, so if your research is, um, I mean, you can select some other tests if you wish to do that. Um, you can choose different test families, different beta alpha levels, um, and different statistical tests, a priority post hoc, depends on you, and then you know, you're know going to receive output parameters depending on that. So um, that was a brief overview of the G-Power. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, and I will be more than happy to help you out with that. Um, I'm going to link, uh, give you the link in the description for the test itself. Uh, and the manual so you can understand it better thank you so much and i hope that's going to be helpful for you